Hi everyone, Stepan here. I'm going to continue covering Serbia Chess Open uh, with the round 8 game, <coughs> excuse me, in which I faced a 2100 rated opponent from Slovenia. Okay, so my opponent plays d4 and after knight of 3, knight of 6, uh, he went for the quiet Slav, an opening witch. Uh, I mean, even though it's called the quiet Slav, there could be many issues for black depending on what white does and there are several ways for black to play you can either go into complications or decline them i decided to go for the complications i mean i could play e6 here going for a normal semislav setup where he probably plays knight c3 and we get knight bd7 bishop d3 dc bishop c b5 bishop d3 blah 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 normal Meran setups, but I went for bishop f5 and you can get away with bishop f5 in this position because e3 is a slow move. So you basically have a position in which you're going to have your semislav triangle with the, without the bishop on c8, so you're not forced to either play e5 or b5, c5. Okay, knight c3, normal, pawn to e6 and now knight to h4, which is the main move. And I went for bishop e4, bishop e4 is the main move. If white should take on e4, that should be pretty good. Uh, for for black you can take either with the knight or with the pawn uh, taking with the pawn is much more promising uh, because now this knight is stranded and knight d7 is a threat so he probably plays g3 and this position is is just good for black so after bishop to e4 my opponent played the best move which is pawn to f3 chasing my bishop to g6 and now he can take he doesn't have to take but he can take straight away and the reason bishop e4 is played is because f3 is considered to be a weakness and it is a weakness because it weakens the king so basically any kingside castling is going to be weaker now also f3 prevents the knight from from going back he went queen b3 i went queen d7 which is the main move and bishop to d2 and here i play the slightly strange move now of course bishop e7 seems logical uh, putting pressure on the knight, forcing him to do something either now or one move later but I was afraid if I go bishop e7 that he takes pawn takes and then plays knight b5 ideas with rook c1 maybe even castles queen side and I wasn't sure if bishop e7 is the correct move now I know that it is and that these moves are not too threatening uh, this has been played a hundred times before Instead of that I went dc4, which is a move you do play in this opening, but not here exactly. Uh, the point is to avoid uh, cd and cd and opening up the c file, giving up the b5 square. Okay, bishop takes c4, but I developed his bishop for free, so he basically didn't have to move the bishop before capturing on c4, which is never good in these, in these positions. Knight bd7, rook to c1, normal, bishop to e7, normal. He castled kingside, which surprised me. I mean, rook c1 and castles kingside surprised me. Usually they go for, for queenside castling here. I went rook d8, didn't want to commit just yet. Rook f to d1, and now uh, I calculated this move for, for a long time. Uh, not only this move, but the follow-up. So this move maybe took me 10 minutes to figure out all the variations, but the follow-up was really tough. And if you want, you can try to pause the video, figure out what the best move for black is, but also figure out white's uh, attempt to refute it. Okay, so I played knight g4. The idea behind knight g4 is, well, I'm threatening this, which has to be defended. Uh, so, for example, if knight takes g6, then queen takes, and it's basically game over. He is not going to be surviving this position. Uh, and if he doesn't do that, then he has to take the knight. But once he takes the knight, I take his knight. His pawn structure is ruined, my bishops are better than his, e3 is weak and the center is not mobile. So this should be a great structural advantage to black. I basically have two weaknesses to target, he has zero. I have a Karakan pawn structure with a bishop outside of the pawn chain and everything is perfectly secure. However, there's one move that gave me headaches before calculating knight g4. Despite that, I, I decided to go in for that. And that move is bishop, to, bishop takes e6. My king is still in the center, 
this move is very dangerous and before playing knight g4 i wasn't sure whether i could take it or not and i told myself okay you're going to calculate everything deeply enough once he plays it if he plays it don't waste time because even if i don't take it even if he's a pawn up i should be better and in, in the post-mortem analysis that turned out to be true black is better here even a pawn down which i sort of knew and after he took i did spend I'm going to say half an hour, maybe even slightly more, because I, I wanted to try and make it work. If it works, if I can take the bishop, then I just win on the spot. Because I have too many things to target and he has nothing and I'm a piece up. However, if it doesn't work, then I lose. And it's not that I lose in a couple of moves, I lose straight away. So, but there were some very interesting lines. So, okay, let, let's have a look at it. Fe6, of course, queen e6 is the move. Now, there are two options. One of them should be discarded straight away. King f8 simply doesn't work, which I figured out in a minute. So, king f8, rook f1, I go knight f6, and he goes knight d5, uh, and that's about it. I can just resign. If I go rook takes d5, he goes bishop uh, to b4 check. I have to go c5, and now either rook c5 or queen d4, d5, I think rook c5 is just best. This rook is pinned, and if takes, then takes. Queen has to take the bishop, and it's game over. Fine, so that, that I knew doesn't work. So the most promising continuation and the only alternative was bishop to e7. Now, this move doesn't work, and white is winning, but it took me a while to figure out why. Okay, so he goes knight b5, the only move, the pawn is pinned, I go queen b8, the only move, I have to keep defending the d6 square of course, because if he takes I have to be able to take, otherwise I get mated. Okay, but there's this move bishop to b4, and I got this far, actually before playing knight g4, I got to bishop b4 and I saw c5 and I thought, well, that's, that's good, that, I, I can take the piece. After c5, the position is fine for me. However, it's not fine for me. He could take uh, dc5, attacking my knight with the rook. He could also just play rook f1. And I saw rook f1 when I was analyzing bishop e6, uh, whether I should take it or not, and this just loses. I just have no way to defend the position. Uh, if I, for example, go knight f8, then rook f8, rook f8, bishop c5, rook f7 defending the bishop, and I don't know, bishop a7. I'm just getting destroyed. Everything is falling apart. Also, after c5, he could just take dc5, which is also dangerous. And for example, bishop to f7, queen to f5, I'm still getting destroyed. Everything is pinned, everything is attacked, his rooks are perfect, I'm playing a rook down. The fact that I'm a piece up on paper is irrelevant. So, after bishop e6, I just castled. Now, the engine says that knight f6 is the best move, which makes sense. I mean, now you are threatening to take the bishop, same as after castles. But castles just seemed very natural. I want to get my king to safety. Okay, so castles is fine, and the engine says black is better. My opponent played bishop f5, which is a blunder, and I did not punish it. Now... I played bishop f6, which seemed logical, threatening c5 and activating my, my bishop. The engine says black is very close to winning after bishop takes f5 and g5 and knight f6, which also makes perfect sense. Uh, my bishop is actually good here. Uh, my knight is getting closer to the attack. Knight g4 is possible, knight e4 could be possible, knight d5 could be possible. So this makes sense. But I played bishop f6, which is still okay, black is still slightly better. And here he went knight e4, which I wanted him to play. I don't really mind giving up this bishop, because I want to be able to blockade on the e4 square. So I went rook f8. And, for example, if he takes, then takes. And if he doesn't play e4 straight away, giving up a pawn, which could be best, if he, for example, plays this, then simply knight e4. And this is strategically just game over. He, he has no room for his pieces, and he has weaknesses, and his king is weak. So after rook f8, he went knight f2, which I think is sensible, reinforcing e4. I went knight b6, uh, controlling d5, opening up my rook, bishop a5. 
I unpinned with queen e7 first, threatening to take on e3, rook e1, and now rook to d5. And here I was really happy with my position. I was I was very low on time. I had about 15 minutes left. He had more than an hour left. So I was slightly worried about the time trouble, but my position I was really happy with. Here he played bishop takes g6. And I wanted to play rook a5, winning a pawn, but I don't win a pawn, I get mated. So if, if, I, uh, if I, I... I took on g6. If I go rook a5, then he plays bishop to b1. And if I take bishop takes d4, then queen d3 either wins the bishop or I get mated. So that doesn't work. So after bishop takes g6, I just took it back, which is no problem. My position is still fine. And in many positions now, I'm threatening something, taking on d4, taking here twice. For example, if bishop takes knight, and a stupid move, then, then takes with anything, and it's pawn up. So my opponent went bishop to c3, which is sensible, and I went bishop to g5. Putting triple pressure on e3, uh, he cannot play e4, even though it seems he can, because after e4 I play bishop takes c1. If he takes my rook, then this is mate. So e4 is defended against because of bishop to g5. What else can he do? Uh, I don't know. In this position, he played bishop to d2 and offered the draw. Uh, and I accepted because I had 10 minutes on the clock. And this position is very complex. Uh, had I had more time, I would have kept playing. But I was just too afraid to blunder in time trouble as I have two rounds before this one uh, and I am a pawn down so if he does manage to defend then should be better material up for the moment yeah I have a more active position should be slightly better for black not much better not enough to claim a winning advantage but practically speaking I think black has an easier game that being said with 10 minutes on the clock that's fairly arguable yeah, so, so it was a draw. I mean, I think I played well in this game. I think I calculated well and all of my decisions were correct, which is a relief after all the blunders I'd made. Still just a draw, because I spent too much time after he played bishop e6. But what can you do? Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you got something from this game. Uh, and stay tuned for more chess. Bye-bye.